The modern world now relies on precision and time. Pilots must know their exact position, altitude and speed when flying aircraft. Split-second timing is crucial for more and more activities such as finance. And simply driving from A to B benefits from satellite navigation. Navigation relies on timing and Galileo, Europe's first global satellite navigation system, will offer unprecedented accuracy, pinpointing locations to within one metre. With it, Europe will be using its own civilian system rather than depending on GPS, which is controlled by the US military. To ensure this feat, each Galileo satellite will contain four atomic clocks one of which, the passive hydrogen maser clock, is accurate to within one second in three million years. And whether it's calculating the most fuel-efficient routes, tracking shipments or helping reduce the amount of pesticides with precision agriculture, Galileo has been designed to provide a variety of services. The most important one, of course, and the one that will be delivered first is the open service. This is for the open public, for the mass market. We will have also with Galileo other services of added value, like the commercial service, that will allow us to improve the accuracy and the reliability of the, of the signal. And this will be used for professional applications to obtain better accuracy on ground. But we also have the public regulated service. This is a specific service of Galileo, intended for government use, very robust and with very good performance. The latest satellites are the final pair in Galileo's in-orbit validation phase. They will contain a new search and rescue antenna and payload, as will all future Galileo satellites. This service will retransmit an emergency signal coming from a beacon on a boat or an aircraft to a rescue control centre, contributing to the international COSPAR SARSAT search and rescue detection system. When complete, the system will consist of 30 satellites orbiting the Earth. The global constellation will also support Galileo's smaller precursor, EGNOS, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, currently based on filtering GPS signals and offering what is called the Safety of Life Service. The most important community that is already making use of EGNOS is the aviation community. And uh, uh, Galileo will uh, greatly contribute to that by providing in the future that community with a very robust means to rely on satellite navigation. Aircraft already carry receivers and can take advantage of space-based navigation for guidance during landing. With Galileo, the system will be redundant and the pilot will have access to two satellite signals. So the, the principle is that GPS and Galileo will be a backup from one another. And that is very important for uh, aircraft uh, navigation since they, uh, the principle is that they do not want to rely on any single system. Galileo will give Europe independence for satellite navigation services. And this growing area is not only important to those with a phone in their pocket or an aircraft to land, but also to more and more social and economic activities in Europe and beyond. <laughs>